God, you know. I wish to God somebody would say something. Now, CBS had a, had a method over there of how they used to get all their, their um, uh, things read for them before they ever went on the, on the air with them, you know. And uh, they'd, they'd take an hour show or something that you'd go in and read for it, you know. And they'd get a, 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 they'd get a, a reading for nothing by using, uh, hell, they had a cattle call, you know, and everybody would show up and they'd read a part of it and a part of it and the director would have in his mind, oh yeah, I'll use that guy over there for something. Or, but nobody would ever, you know, call you back to say, oh hey, you got the part. And I said, the hell with it. I'm not going to go in there as cattle call and, and, and people are going to say, uh, yeah, well what about this and read this here, read that there, and, and you're doing it for nothing. And they give you nothing in return. But the hell with them, you know. But that's the way it was. And, and it was frustrating as hell because you knew damn right well you could do the damn thing, but nobody would give you a break, you know. You see, uh, you, you're like the uh, Charles Bronson, uh, like, like was similar to you. You're both good-looking, tough-looking guys. Seriously. <laughs> now, and I'm asking you from like, because I'm steadily uh, getting into acting. And, and I'm scary looking. I know this. I, I know I'm not going to get it based on my attractiveness. You know. Believe me. Believe me. <laughs> you, you, you attest. I, I was the same way. <laughs> and, and Charlie Bronson was a very dear friend of mine, and believe me, uh, he was a sweetheart. And, and uh, he didn't say too much, but when he said it, he, he believed it. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Both you guys got that. Where like when you say it, it's like <laughs> like it's the gospel. <laughs> And, and so, so I started trying a, a comedy a little bit from a comedy approach too, because comedians, you don't have to really be that. <laughs> well, no, believe it or not, com sorry, comedy is, is one of the hardest things okay. to do. Okay. You know, uh, it, it all depends on you want how, you, uh, how you do from, it. From the, you know? Uh, hell, I knew. What the hell is his name? The guy who walked out naked in, 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 in Las Vegas? Uh, oh, what the hell is his name? Leonard? You remember that? Leonard, he was, uh, he's talking. Walked out naked? The guy walked around naked? Really? Yeah, he came out naked. And, 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 and you know, everybody went, ah. You know, Is he a named actor? No. <laughs> no, no, he was a, he was a, he was a, he was a, a, a oh, comic. A comedian, yeah, 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 yeah. A kind of a fat, chubby guy, you know, and, uh, God, I tell you, it was, it was funny as hell for a moment, you know. And that's the way they got laughs. Okay. But um, in order to make things happen as a comedian, you had to think it out, you okay. know, and you had to worry about it. a certain line would would probably wouldn't go along with those words that you were trying to say. Okay. You know, like uh, uh, what the hell was his name? Red Buttons. He did a thing called "I'm going to make you." You know, it says I, 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 they never gave me a dinner. And he went on from there. Well, I tell you, by the time he finished, you were on the floor. Just the way he said it. Of know? course, it's the way you say it. Yeah. Yeah. Comedy's harder that way because the delivery is everything. Absolutely. Everything. I mean, you don't get another take or anything, That's right? It. That's it. But as far as the acting, like, like I've been, I, I've gone on some auditions. I've probably gone on about eight and got two of them, right? And uh, I've been an extra, and it's funny, like, they're, like the good-looking guys, they snatch up, but there's a look for everybody, you know, like Danny DeVito. Absolutely. You, you got the cast on Lee, like the real heavy set woman. Sure. Uh, the the well, mentally see, challenged. Danny, Danny did it because he, he wasn't afraid to move. Right. You know what I mean? He, he'd get out there and, you know, get everything else, and this big, this short pint of him, boom, bam, bim, and he was gone, you know? Well, uh, I'm asking you this because, like, like sometimes it gets like I say, man, because you see people with like with not that great talent or something, and they're snatching them up, and they don't have passion. They can't oh, wait sure. to get off the set. Sure. And me, I mean, I'll I'll kill for them, but you know. There's, there's also, you know, that sometimes when they catch up with you, and then you're about you lasted about a half hour. Yeah, that's and that true. was it. <laughs> like, like the, my hope also is like you know, Coach Beast on Glee. It's like a woman that looks like a man. So I'm saying these guys give me a lot of hope, you know. But but so do you. I I, I loved you in the. Uh, uh, I love when you got the Academy Award for Just look at this, just walk, walk up, you're on. Hi, welcome. How are you? Hold up, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Okay, sure. Okay. Thank you. What is the last name? Hi, Lucy. I'm sorry, I don't have my name. Great work, great work.
Great work. Thank you. camera and say, say, I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. Hey! Hey! You know, I'm at the dog track and I run into Hart and Todd and they offer me a job as their tour manager. You know, I'm not working right now. I don't have a job. I said, yeah, I'll be your tour manager. <laughs> really, I, I mean, what is a tour manager? What does a tour manager do? How hard could it be? Take one. The road crew, they just slept in the streets. It was crazy. I don't know much about music, but John and Jerry, they could play. Take one. Action. Everybody makes a big deal about you know, showing up on the wrong days. You know, hey, listen, nobody's perfect. Yeah, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Celebrities take two. Action started working with these guys, I realized they had access to celebrities. So I went ahead and started using that celebrity access to get girls. I would tell them, hey, any celebrity you want, I'll, I'll let you see them, but you know, you take care of me too. And they say, and man, it worked. People always said that my gambling interfered with my job. I think the job interfered with my gambling. I never really got along with Walter. I don't think he liked me very much. Five, action. When I got back with the beer, I heard Joey Corona got carjacked at gunpoint. How do you mistake a gremlin for a Pinto? Pintos are an awful car. They blow up. Take two, action. Memphis? I might have had the wrong time down on the sheet. What, this is all my fault? Cleaning out my bathroom and I look in the bathtub and there's a box with tapes in it. What, no. what are tapes doing in my bathtub? Say it again. What are tapes in my bathtub? What are tapes doing in my bathtub? I see all these writings on the tapes, and I say to myself, are these the tapes? I didn't call anybody. I held on to the tapes for six months because I thought I was going to get sued. I call hard. I tell him I have the tapes. He's shocked. He says, are they in good condition? I say, how the hell am I supposed to know? 